Hi, I'm Michael Klein. I'm a master gardener in the San Mateo and San Francisco Master Gardener Society. And today we're gonna to talk about fruit tree grafting in your backyard. There's several reasons why you might wanna graft. One of them would be, I wanna put old, new life into an old tree. One of them may be, I wanna change the cultivar. I may wanna add a plum to an apricot. I may wanna do the reverse. I may want to go and repair a branch that had broken during a storm. And I may wanna save that cultivar. I may wanna save that tree. The fourth reason, and probably one of the more important ones, is I need to pollinate my apple tree. So in this case, what we have is a Gravenstein apple. This is a Gravenstein too. And we've got a red Fuji. And the red Fuji is gonna be able to pollinate this Gravenstein apple, and you're gonna get apples next season. So let's show you how we're gonna do this graft. What you need is a couple of pieces, a piece of scion wood from the Fuji apple, a really sharp knife, a really sharp knife, and grafting tape or electrical tape so that you can wrap up the graft, keep it clean, keep it dry, and keep it free of insects. So let's do some grafting. Okay, first things first. Let's take the scion wood and let's prepare it. I like this way. We're gonna slice it just deep enough so that we keep most of the green cambium. That's the living tissue part. You don't wanna cut all the way down into the wood. So I'm keeping it green and maybe shaving it down a little lower and a little lower until I get it kinda of how I want it. Then I make the appropriate cut in the bark where I want it, and that's not bad. Let's see how we fit. You wanna make sure it's deep enough. You wanna make sure there's nothing on the side, maybe a little bit deeper and a little bit longer. Like that, right side up. I think I'm happy with that trying not to cut yourself. And then it's time for the tape. Now, this is a very simple two-person job and a slightly tricky one-person job. Again, the reason for the tape is you wanna seal it, especially right now to keep out the moisture. Today is early February and we're expecting some rain. So I'm gonna make sure this is well taped And this is the time of year you want to do fruit tree grafting. You want to do other trees later in the year, like citrus and avocados and even grapes. If you really want to get into it, you can do tomatoes and a whole bunch of other types of fruits and plants. And that list is available on our website at uc.anr.org. All right. Pretty happy with that. Maybe another couple of pieces of tape and you're good to go. As you can see, we've already done a couple others here standing in our way, but it's all the same principle. And since we're teaching a class, we're just messing around. I hope you start messing around in your garden once you learn how to graft because you can start doing things like apricots to plums. You can make your own pluots. You can make your own different kind of combinations. Just make sure you check the grafting compatibility matrix. Again, look at some of the publications on our website and happy grafting.